afternoon and happy Sunday to everybody. This is Miss Fisher and uh, ready to uh, dig into our second to last um, module, language development. Hope everybody's had a nice weekend. I know uh, we've been in spring break for UNK. So let's dive in. First, you wanna click on growth and development. And I am in student view, so I am seeing what you're seeing. Okay, language module. Right, first thing always, you wanna make sure you click on that module overview. All right. All right, couple things. Make sure if you have not already, you have emailed myself and Mrs. Co, or not emailed, sorry, filled out the form. We're trying to be more efficient. Filled out the form for, <coughs> excuse me, for uh, communicating your um, field visit with your cooperating teacher. Okay, um, assignments coming up. You have my big TE204 voice thread assignment. You have the language development PowerPoint. All right, the components of language, you have a graphic organizer, but this actual time, it will be a mind map that's due by Wednesday. You have your group feedback for um, your DDT number two, that's due on Sunday, along with your English language learner um, graphic organizer, but again, it will be a mind map. You have a Google web assignment on language development. You have your visit, your assessment, and then finally you have your final DDT number three, uh, stewardship access to knowledge and enculturation due on April 7th. All right, so let's dig into the module. Again, if you have not already, please make sure you have filled out the Google form to let myself know Oh, and this should be say April sec April 1st. Excuse me, I found a typo. I will fix it. April 1st through Thursday, April 4th for your visit. Okay. You have your uh, big idea for TE204, which is a voice thread. You have your PowerPoint. Okay, you have a little short article to add to your notes for language development on components of language. So click here and it's gonna talk about phonology, semantics, syntax, and pragmatics. Then you have the mind maps. You're gonna be doing two mind maps for this module, okay? First one is gonna be on language development. Second one is going to be on English language learners. Okay. So here's your first one for your mind map. It's going to be language development. Um, I use, for mind, ma ma for mind mapping, I use a program called MindNode. Um, you do have to pay for it, so, oh, let me put in my information, actually. Okay, so if this was my mind map, what I'm going to do is put the language development, not that one, so language development as my central idea, okay? Then I'm gonna have two offshoots, okay? So for language, I might even look for, because you need color and pictures. So I'm just gonna find some images of language, like this one, that looks good. Then 
I'm going to do two offshoots. So the first one I have is language development one, which is children's hardwire abilities to learn language. So I'm going to click on that one. Okay, and you have a video. Okay. So that will be your first one. Right, and then you need to have three, minimum of three facts from here, okay? And of course you wanna use color and pictures, okay? Then my second one is going to be the Quizlet. Now the Quizlet's a little bit different. Um, you have to have, work through all five of the activities to learn the 11 terms, okay? Now, then you're gonna add seven, at least seven of these terms, okay? So this one's gonna be my next one. Over here. Okay. And then I'm going to have seven terms off of it with pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that will be kind of your first one. And again, you want pictures, you want color. All right, and then you want short little sayings about those. All right. Okay. So that's mind map number one. Okay. And this is where you'll submit your information. Okay. And that's due by Wednesday, March 27th. Okay, here is your DDT number two, Diversity, Nurturing, Pedagogy, and Peer Review. So click here, remember to access your form. Okay. So you'll fill that out and then upload it to submit to assignment. Then you have your English language learner PowerPoint. And then you have your second mind map. So this one's going to be your English language learner. Okay. So if I was doing a mind map, I'm going to do a new one. Okay. So here is my center of my and again, um, if I was doing this online, you can definitely draw this out and then scan it and submit it. Okay. Oop, come back here. Okay, because I want to copy my image. Gotta love technology. When it works, it works, and when it doesn't, it does not. Okay, well, I'd have a graphic organizer, or I'd have a graphic in there, okay? Then this is gonna be your first little branch, okay? Then you'll do a second branch. Okay, a third, fourth, and fifth branch. And then from each of these branches, remember you have to have a minimum of three facts in your own words. So one, two, three okay and again you want to add pictures add color um, make it uh, really interesting and that's but make sure you do it for one two three four five six seven eight 
three, and four. Um, here's an example of a mime mode that I did. It's not for um, R for language, but it's one I did for another unit. Second, it's downloading it. Here we go. All right, so this one was on Eric. Eric, uh, Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. So you'll see how I've used color. I've used, um, you know, short phrases, um, pictures. So you kind of get the idea. And again, you can hand draw these out if you like. Um, you can use, there's other, if you Google mind mapping on the internet, there's information also. But again, um, you just need to make sure your two graphic organizers are in the form of mind mapping, okay? Then you have a Google web assignment, okay? Have some information on social linguistic conventions. Your characteristic chart for your language uh, visit. There you go. Your field notes. Uploading your field notes. Okay. And then your assessment. Okay. And then we're into our final module. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, have a great start to your week, and I will see you later.